Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Answer Our Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 31. And you can see, I've granted for about a day, I have 144,000 eternity points. And I did do some off camera, like getting of these, but that's basically the only thing I got off camera. I'm also up to about like, what is it, 4,000 eternities. So it isn't all that much, but it's something. And what I can do here, I crucially have enough for this upgrade, which is huge. It's an E12 times a multiplier on my infinity dimensions based on the, the infinity challenge time sum, which is, I have no idea. It's, it's, it's not even the lowest I can go, actually. I think it can go down to like 600 milliseconds. I could just do that real, real quick. I mean, once I get my eternity auto buyer off here. So you can see... Now, with so much more, I should be able to push way farther than before. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting E900 infinity points easy, even probably E1000. I might have to start doing manual runs, but this will start getting me time theorems without needing to um, do anything else. It might even be enough to get the next time study, which is 101. It isn't that good of a time study, but at least it's something. So, E1079... E ten ninety eight. I think I think it's better than twenty one at least at this point, because this what is it E three oh eight times multiplier to my answer dimensions versus like I don't know ten thousand times multiplier to my infinity dimensions. Maybe maybe it's just one thousand. I don't even know. But that's like E twenty eight. Even if it's ten thousand, that's E twenty eight times seven, which even if it's thirty. Yeah, 101 is still the better time study to get. So I'm going to do that. That instantly gets me another time um, time theorem, which is pretty cool. And I can start... Well, the thing is that this actually isn't that many eternity points. Eventually, I might want to switch to the infinity or time dimension path. I'm not really sure when I should do that. And it looks, it looks like I can grab just one more time theorem before I kind of just run out. Um, there's no replicated galaxy coming up soon. And speaking of which, I'm getting 4.5 replicated galaxies every second, so that, that's pretty cool. So, maybe what I can do, I can go into, I, I can start, let's say, automatic crunching at just zero infinity points, and then, and then going into the infinity challenges, and do I have, I should have automatic challenges on, and this should this should be getting the sum down at least I hope, um, whatever. Like these these are all trivial trivial at this point. I mean I'm I'm not doing anything other than just going into the challenges and then going right back out. So what what does that get me to? That gets me to 489 milliseconds, which gets this all the way to E14 where it's capped. So that means all of last reality I was actually missing out on. On something I could have done to speed up the the game, which is kind of kind of weird. So anyway, it looks like I can get one more time theorem by getting e two hundred sixty thousand antimatter, which it's it's enough to get twenty one, which I probably I'll just get at this point because why not? There isn't really anything else I can do, and I think it's it's seven additional time theorems to go in. Infinity dimension. So I think what I'll do, I'm going to respec eternity, just go the usual way, except go down infinity dimensions. And I need four time theorems, but I can afford that, luckily. So that means I can afford like two additional time theorems from there. And then I guess I just go back into the usual E70. And this should hopefully allow me to push just a little bit farther than last time. I'm not really sure how much this is going to do, but it, it at least should do something. I'm back up to E1180 infinity points. 12, 1220. It's like about equal, actually, to what I was doing before. So that's actually less than I thought. Maybe, I mean, the other thing, well, no, I wasn't doing, I didn't have a super long run last time. So yeah, actually, this is better. It's only slightly better. It's probably good for about two time theorems. And 
that isn't all that much but the thing is that since this is seven more expensive than this and this costs 12 if i can get five total time theorems that allows me to get time study 111 and that's like the big one so here's two but unfortunately i can't afford all of them with attorney points i can do one here which gets me another infinity dimension multiplier but i i just need to get either e 1400 infinity points or e 300,000 antimatter and i'm just not there yet and i'm checking my replicated galaxies here i can get at e 1385 i can get another replicated galaxy that's interesting that means it might be within reach because there's a replicated galaxy just right there or not right there but like helping me for that final push started to notice here that the individual tick speed upgrades are actually like doing something here e 1383 and then like a tick speed upgrade like doubles my infinity point gain which is interesting you can see here again e 1385 and doubles again probably dimension boost as well that's that's enough for the replicated galaxy so maybe i'll make it now now it only gets me to 1388 i am getting somewhat close to the next regular galaxy maybe if i just keep doing this i'll make it okay here we go e 1400 infinity points so that means i will be able to get 111 and i might be worth it trying to get to e the inner thousand antimatter i'm pretty close but i kind of just want to respec grab my attorney points and go for study 111 and the last time theorem we bought with attorney points and let's see how good this is so this is interesting i have more infinity points than before and it's pretty easy to keep going up but I have less antimatter than before. And because I was so close to E300,000 antimatter before, and I just barely got the E1400 infinity points, this isn't actually all that much more helpful in getting time theorems. It might be better for a 30 point gain, but I'm not even sure if that's really the best way to go. I think I think I want a 30 point gain because previously I was only getting like a few hundred attorney points per minute. And now I'm able to get a good amount, like right from the get-go. I can probably also, I want to see what happens if I do E280 and then try to turn. It's probably, yeah, I can't quite reach there. But if I do like E140 and try to do it in two runs, it's very, it's quick to reach eternity. And with this, I'll be able to reach, let's see, 5,000, about, about 6,000 a minute. So... That isn't the best ever. I can even reach like 7,000 a minute if I just wait for my replicated galaxies. But I don't I don't know if I want to prioritize eternity points per minute or just plain eternities because this upgrade is so powerful. So I'm noticing here that this milestone is only active if these, if these two are not active. And this is only active if I set eternity to zero eternity points. So that means I have to choose either or which is kind of rough i'm my fast eternity is 1.7 seconds which means that i'll be getting about twenty-five thousand ish eternities per day so it's very interesting to think about what i want here versus getting something like 2e6 eternity points per day but no eternities i think the better call is to actually just get eternities i know it might seem kind of stupid maybe i shouldn't even be going for this reality upgrade in the first place because it's it might seem kind of pointless and also by the way i have e8 banked infinities so infinities will never be a problem anymore which is amazing but yeah this is rough even though <laughs> this upgrade looks so enticing and i don't know how many reality machines i'm gonna be getting and that's kind of what keeps me from getting this there's still many great upgrades i can get without needing the paradoxical forever upgrade like there's 
there's the eternal flow which was is going to help immensely with the paradoxal forever because it means i i can just wait a little bit and get the eternities i want i'm also relatively likely if i can't get a dilation glyph i'm probably going to be getting some kind of power or infinity glyph that will help this part of the game anyway Besides, there's even other upgrades I can go for this reality that might be more realistic based on what I have. Like, there's this, which will give me an auto buyer for eternity and time dimensions. Then there's this, which gives me an eternity point multiplier, which is going to immensely help me with this. Although this is a pretty steep challenge requirement as well. E70 eternity points without eternity challenge 1. Even though the reward is weak, that means I have no access to time study 181. And if I do get like a ridiculous amount of amount of uh, reality machines, like if I get like several hundred, which I don't expect to get anyway, then I could just like go into the black hole. They're, they're, that costs a hundred reality machines, and like this costs a total of eighty. Right now I have two, so I would need a hundred and seventy-eight to get this, 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 and the black hole. And if I somehow had like several hundred i can just buy some more stuff in the top row stuff like you gain three times more eternities you gain dilated time faster there's like so much good stuff there that i think i'm gonna make the call to give up and buy eternity point multipliers because attorney point multipliers are just too good so i think at this point i just want to be grinding attorney points because now I'm, I'm going to be getting way more turning points than before. I can start getting time dimension upgrades as usual. I can get a lot of them. Wow. That is that is four time dimension upgrades, which is just incredibly powerful. And also, I can get... I'm getting, like... I was previously getting, like, barely 10,000 a minute. Now I'm getting, like, 400,000 a minute. Just because of just how good the these upgrades are. I don't know if I want to push again, but I I might want to. It's honestly, at this point, it's just very similar to last reality because I'm not going for anything special. And even now, the glyph boost is just not that good. If I go to statistics, like let, let's say I'm going on a, on a long run here. I'm going to antimatter production because that's kind of what matters here. Pun unintended. You can see... Out of the total antimatter production, it looks like only barely over 10% is from tick speed upgrades at all. And 10% of that is from time dimensions. So it really isn't that much. And if we go here, maybe is it here? No, it's just from this. Doesn't doesn't say anything about my glyph. There is stuff like time dimensions here. And you can see only 3.2% is from the glyph effects so this means at this point glyph effects are doing very little for me which means that i think i just want to do a run as normal and they're they're they will have a major effect later on but it's gonna i'm only gonna be noticing it like through maybe the attorney challenges like that could be a crucial stage where they really do make up that difference because like it's if it's giving me one percent of the exponent of the antimatter or slash infinity points like that could change a 2000 eternity or infinity point challenge requirement to a 19 e1980 or that's what i'm trying to get across there so basically that'd be really useful there and it's gonna have more effect probably by that point and it'll have a huge effect, like, as I start really going down the tree into dilation. And, yeah, so I'm just going to do some off-camera progression through all of this. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back, and I've done, I've grinded a bunch of runs. I'm up to E13 Eternity Points. And I, I, I want to show you an interesting new strat that's kind of evolved. I've, also, this is my first run getting to 171, which is pretty cool. But the strat involves, actually I should probably spend, I, I can do it on this, so I'd rather get that rather than the time theorem. But the strat I've been doing to speed things up at this point is using time study 62, which I can unlock now 
to gain Replicanti even faster, because right now it's still kind of slowish. It's 5.9 replicated galaxies per second, which might seem pretty good, but if I'm doing... I should probably change this from E70. It's been E74 for like a long time to at least E100, so that's what I'm going to do. But I have to build up the replicated galaxies. Like 42 replicated galaxies with this speed is still going to take 7 seconds. So I don't, I don't want it to take even that long. And speeding up 3 times, actually you're going to see here, I'm going to demonstrate it here. So maybe this isn't the best time to demonstrate it, but look at this. It takes, like, barely over two seconds to get all of the replicated galaxies that I need, which is just amazing. And I can get a lot of time theorems with all this, which is eventually going to allow me to get 162. I probably shouldn't have actually gotten this study anyway, but whatever, I can just do it next eternity. Well, without managing to actually get any more runs in, I'm able to make it all the way to E... 3,350 points, which means I can get time study 162 in the same run, which is kind of crazy. And this kind of marks the spot where things start to slow down, unfortunately. It's it's the usual E14 slash E... It's around, it starts around E14 eternity points where things slow down pretty massively. And, I mean, it's... I don't feel it much yet, but I'm eventually going to feel it more and more as I suffer through this. And it's going to, I'm going to become increasingly reliant on the eternity, eternity grinding, which as we all know, that sucks. So some other things to note while I'm kind of waiting here, I have time dimension path because it, it synergizes well with Time Study 171, and the glyphs are probably a bit more powerful than they were before. Because now, it used to be 10% is from tick speed upgrades, now over 15% is from tick speed upgrades, and about, what is that, like, a third of those, so that's over 5% of my production is from tick speed upgrades, specifically from Time Dimensions. So, that means that it the glyphs i mean they may not be all that powerful at this point but i think that they're starting to be a little bit more significant than before and maybe i still chose the wrong glyph and that that's okay if i really did make a horrible decision but whatever it's not too bad maybe something like this upgrade here, your achievement bonus affects time dimensions, will help massively. I don't know. That's, I mean, 400 times multiplier at all time dimensions, that's nothing to sneeze at, especially when these exponents are multiplied. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be, I'm, I want to get time study 41. Also, I want to get, I keep forgetting to just do the E key so I can actually get time study 121 going for real i can still get more time theorems and time dimension upgrades while i wait though so that's pretty good and it looks like i'm coming up on my final time study in a very long time especially if i try to go for e70 eternity points without eternity challenge one which i'm not sure how possible that is but i am able to reach a good like e3800 3900 infinity points with this which is enough for e17 eternity points which that's pretty good because i because here's the thing there's a multiplier that i'm gonna get here so that means i'm just gonna pour the rest of it into time dimension upgrades and then just i don't really even need any more time theorems because i have maxed out the time study tree at this point just like back in episode 9, except I also have time study 62 so that my replicated galaxies grow faster. So it looks like, looks like this is about my limit. E4000 infinity points and about 6 E17 attorney points. I could do one more run and get another multiplier, which seems pretty appealing. I don't know why, but it does. So I think the best thing is at this point, even though I'm not, even if I don't want to go for attorney challenge one right away, 
is to grind the Eternities, because I eventually will need to get five completions of this challenge, and I think the multiplier would really help. I don't know if I need to grind a million Eternities, but I think this stage of the grinding is definitely something I need to do. So, I'm going to change this to E280. I'm not sure if this is quite possible. Yeah, this is possible. So we can just do this, do zero, do this. I can get... Let's, let's see how quickly I can get Eternities. I can get it about every third of a second so that's that's pretty fast i'll be able to get i think i'm actually getting six eternities every third of a second so that's 18 eternities per second even offline that's going to be nine per second so that's that's pretty good and this is where i will end the episode with eternity grinding hope you enjoyed peace out